This was used in, into the woods? Yes, this is uh, any time the witch would appear, she would be, she comes in a storm, she, she's swirling around. So when she's out in the woods and she appears a number of times, all the leaves around are circling around her and towards her. And then she appears or disappears and then they disperse. So she comes and goes in a whirlwind and it's a very identifiable sound and they needed uh, swirls and uh, Blake Lee came in here and did it in a lot of stereo pairs of microphones and. So you needed this real leaf sound. Absolutely, and we have all this outside. So, you know, I just save them in the, uh, in fall. We have about seven or eight bags upstairs and I need them a number of times this year. Huh, so, so you just always have a supply of dead leaves. That's correct. Because you know what, <laughs> once you, when you're stepping on them, after five or six steps, it's, it's gone. They've you, lost you, their you, sound. They've lost their sound. So there's, there's um, uh, these crumple up and they, they stop being um, of any use. Right. Huh. So this is for the Big Lebowski. All right. That's a good crack. That's a good crack. Yeah, man. Now, after you've cracked somebody's back or torn their flesh or stabbed them, um, do you have any special sensitivities in your own life toward th the real thing? It, it, it's funny because I can do all those things for actors on screen and it doesn't bother me, but uh, someone ripping a, uh, a hangnail, you know, my imagination would go, not just a little rip, but you'd rip it right up to your chin, you know, and it's like, oh, because I just, I go into the next level of it because they're constantly, the editors are saying, well, yeah, we want this, but it has to be so that it comes through and it, and it, and it breaks through and, it, it, and it's loud and it's big. And so I imagine that. And so when I see things in real life, I'm pretty squeamish. I, uh, I don't like it. So your imagination goes into Kicks sound effects. In immediately. Yeah, just like loud. Yeah, in my head. Like, so real life, yeah. you get really squeamish. See, I just I just broke a guy's rib cages, and I thought nothing about it. I heard the story about you breaking your ribs, and I'm immediately like, oh, because I feel I just immediately feel that, and I and I know and I know what sound it's going to make. So <laughs> it just comes to mind, and it's a, a knee jerk reaction, and I have had that for a number of years now. Do you? love smashing things you know what I break very little honestly huh. I, I I don't because if I if I take a, a TV monitor and maybe I have three or four maybe I have a lot more now than we have flat screens but if you take a TV monitor and you throw it and you smash it yeah you got that momentary oh did we record it right oh it's too close to the mic oh shoot let's do it again do I have to use another monitor if I throw that one up it's already loose it's got broken glass so I, I'm sort of, I'm not, I'm not big on breaking stuff, not to, to where I destroy it. I like, I, you know, I'll, I'll th if I know it's going to be glass, I'm going to put glass in next to it, already broken, so when I make an impact, that reacts. Because glass breaking doesn't make the noise, it's the shattering and the glass hitting each other oh. afterwards. And we learned that from a car window. We broke a, a car front window and we're, we had all the mics set up and we went, and it was like, I was like, oh, are you kidding me? We bought four of these and we got no sound out of the first one and we got no sound out of the next ones. We went back to the old method, took some pane glass and little all the shards that were, because this is all safety glass, and then we just sprinkled that and then it became a nice sound that could be used that was loud enough to be louder than, than the car impact itself yeah. or the, you know, whatever we were trying to get across. Because the glass had something to hit. Right. Mm -hmm. It's the other sounds that, that need to be reinforced and, and, and popped up. The impact itself, it's over after the impact. That's like uh, the Big Bang Theory. It's all afterwards. That but it's... That's the business approach, but Ed, I would have expected you to just love the sound of smashing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't mind the sound. I, I'm not a big fan of that. Noises, huh. you know, I, I'm... Uh... <laughs> that's funny. I would have expected you to love it.